Hey guys and gals, Demox7643. So, I want to make this video for a couple of reasons today. First one is around the community. There's all kinds of outrage over one of Arnold T101's accounts getting banned. And if you don't know who that guy is, he's probably one of the most influential content creators surrounding Galaxy Heroes. And he just seems like an honestly a nice and fun guy that just really is passionate about playing this game. The only difference is, is he decided to forego becoming a lawyer and decided to work in becoming a YouTube entertainer instead surrounding this game. I mean, he just built his career around it instead, devoted his time, his effort, and his money into whaling out, getting these characters first to decide whether or not other people should actually go ahead and invest in them or not. And man, they just... They just threw him a raw bone, man. It's not fair what they did. And I just, even though it's against the terms of service to account share, whatever, I mean, long and the short of it is he got an account from an old Kraken that just was done with the game. And he had invested a ton of money in it, and he's just like, here, use this to better the community, and he did. And then, you know, they took exception to it because he couldn't buy crystals on it one day because of region switching or something, and they just decided to ban it. They singled him out. And I don't know if that's because they didn't like the the criticism that was given on the channel to a lot of their latest releases because some of them are really lazy. You know, some of them are just not the greatest in the world and they haven't been really well received. And I'm not really sure what the deal is, but they single them out. And this guy, I mean, that affects his revenue stream, man. I mean, I'm small time. I got less than 200 subscribers. This guy has almost 200,000 subscribers to his channel and quite frankly he relies on this income to pay his bills he was gonna be a lawyer and then nope he just decided well this is more important I got some traction here I'm gonna do this and it's just not fair what they did I can't even believe it I, I wouldn't know what I would do if they just went and banned my account I mean I got hacked recently it was a pain in the butt but the only thing that happened to me is I lost some of my saved materials right they didn't burn my mods or anything, and gosh forbid, they didn't completely inactivate my account. It just it boggles my mind that they would do this to him. So I hope that CG pulls their collective heads out of their butts and figures out a good way to fix this so that no one else is negatively affected by it. It's very frustrating on many, many, many different levels. So shout out to you, man. I'm sorry that happened to you, and uh, if there's anything that I can do, even though I'm super small time, I'm more than happy to help out if it... You know, I'm just a Rebels and a Ships guy, but, you know, and Galactic Legends counters guy, I guess, as of late. But, you know, if there's something I can do to help, reach out, and I will do whatever I can. So, anyway, so that's number one. Number two is, uh, I saw a video from another real small fry like myself, Scribe Gaming. They got a pretty sweet channel, and I highly urge you guys to go check it out. But I saw this wrinkle to the team that I've been using to climb on Galactic Legends where they took Watt out versus the new version of Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and they started running Han Solo instead. And of course, being a rebel, I, I'm all over this. So uh, I tried it out. I decided, well, you know, does it work or does it not? And I did five fights up against some pretty tough Supreme Leader Kylo Ren teams and it worked four out of five. The only time it didn't is when I got some crazy resists from a high tenacity crew. And realistically, you get enough potency from the Basila Shan uh, Zeta and just the relationship between Basila and Darth Revan that it just works. So I'm going to share this on my channel today too. Shout out to uh, Scribe Gaming. But here's how it works. You stun Hux first, and then you're going to do the lightning first and see how I got shock on both tanks. Then you pass to Geonosian Brood Alpha. He can do the area effect dispel, and that removes the taunts. And then you take Basil Sean's turn here, and you fear Lobster Trooper so that he can't dispel the shock. And then that frees you up to fracture Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, and you go ham on him. And that's pretty much it. You just need to watch the fears now. As more of them expire, we're going to see insanity here. And then the fear is laid on the entire team, and then... You just do basics, just like you would against, you know, some of the, the Ray teams before. You just keep working on it until those fears start expiring, and then and only then you lay in the area effect shocks. You resummon your, your Brute, and just keep working them, and then you can see some of the fears. Hux is missing his fear now, so you can go ahead and fire this up, because you know they're going to lose their turn in a second. And then you can do the shock, because nobody's feared. So I did it over on another tank, and things start falling apart for him really quickly. 
you can see the damage is just overwhelming and before they know it they're dead and there's nothing left but two tanks it absolutely works guys and gals shout out again to scribe gaming really great idea using that because <laughs> using hux here in a full fo team it causes the turn meter gain from the blast deck to not work at all so swapping out watt for han is really really smart here and so big big kudos and shout out to him hopefully this will make a lot of your climbs a lot easier on these overpowered newly buffed supreme leader kylo ren teams and uh it'll just make your day better so that's really it for today i just wanted to touch on those two things um certainly if you have any questions or concerns or you have anything you'd like to add leave it in the comments below um, you can do the likes or the subscribe things, but they're not necessary. I'm a database architect by trade. It doesn't matter to me whether or not, you know, I'm not going to get paid anymore if you do that right now because I'm just a little fish in a big pond. But if you like what you see, I really appreciate hearing from you. And just let me know if we can save you a few crystals because that's really what matters. So until the next video, I appreciate you all and Denny out.